Hey guys, I want to cover a topic that I'm finding a lot of field technicians don't really know much about. Um, the topic is uh, bit error rate or BER. So I'm finding out a lot of technicians, they see it, they see it's moving around, uh, they just know it means trouble, but they don't actually know what it means. They don't even know the difference between pre and post BER. So let me explain a little bit. So it's calculated by uh, the number of bit errors divided by the total bits transmitted. Now what a bit is, uh, since it's digital, it's all ones and zeros. So a bit is ones and zeros. So if there's any missing, we can calculate that. Um, so on your meter, you'll see uh, pre-BER and it'll show like a 1.0 E-9. So the E-9 is an exponent of 9. So probably the easiest way you can think in your head to calculate this is add 9 zeros after a 1. So 1 with 9 zeros after it is 1 billion. So 1.0 E-9 is one error in one billion. And if you start dropping down on the scale with more errors, so the 1.0 E-8, um, remove one zero, so there's only eight zeros, so it'll be one in 100 million. Seven will be one in 10 million. Drop it down to a six, you'd have one in one million. At that point, that's when you start really to start noticing that there's a service issue and that should be looked at and uh, fixed. Now the difference between pre-BER and post-BER is pre is the actual total number of errors. That's ones and zeros, it's either missing or out of place. Uh, your post-BER is what's left over after the forward error correction has fixed some of the missing or out of place ones and zeros. So what you have is a extra bit of information sent with the packets saying what is in the packets and what order they're in. So when it's received, it can fix a lot of issues with some ones and zeros and ones that are out of place. But if it gets too bad, it can't fix all of it. So it just goes on through as missing or out of place ones and zeros. That's when you start seeing tiling or a customer's voice cutting out on uh, telephone service and slow it or end that. So I hope this helped clear up a little bit about your BER and uh, it'll make a little sense to you when you see uh, BER errors.